I think we should all be in clinical trials. We have a moral obligation. Fortunately, I've never been asked, but I take so many drugs anyhow. I am a clinical trial. What is a clinical trial? I can't remember, but I did see something about it on TV. I don't know what a clinical trial is. They just do a study of people with the disease over a few years. Different medications to see what are the side effects, adverse effects. You go through the FDA and it's a black hole from there, I have no idea. So do you think that women are included in clinical trials? I believe so, they would be. As far as I know, I've never been to one, but I've read, a, you know, you read about the advertisements. Would it surprise you to learn it's 1993? Mm, it's a long time. Yeah, we should have started sooner. <laughs> so they were using them on women, but only testing them on men before 93? Okay, that's kind of odd. You would think that because trials have been going on for such a long time that they want a fair representation of the general population and, and women should have been included earlier. The, the reason pharmaceutical companies uh, primarily tested on white males were that it was easier. Didn't have to worry about pregnancy, didn't have to worry about menstrual cycles. White men tended to volunteer for clinical research, while uh, women and minorities tended not to, and still tend not to. One of my partners, who incidentally is now an OBGYN at NIH, uh, Dr. Alan DeCherney, uh, was in this aspirin study. And I wanted to be in the aspirin study. I mean, you know, if, there, if, my, if your partner is in it, you want to be in it. You know, so um, they said, "Oh, women weren't included," and they were giving they were giving some of the men aspirin, and some of the uh, men were not getting aspirin. And uh, I, of course, uh, felt that it was important that I be in the study, and I was not allowed in the study because I was a female, and that sort of stuck in my brain. And it turned out it stuck in the brain of a lot of women who were then starting to enter the academic fields. Let's imagine this. There's a whole class of medications uh, that are used as osteoporosis prevention and treatments. Several of them were known to be very effective when given to men. But we found out when we gave them to women that it made their uterus fall out. Imagine if we never gave it to women until it was on the market. Pretty strange. Women need to understand that without their pioneering participation in clinical research trials, there aren't going to be new products and new therapies for them and their daughters and for future generations of women.